Welcome to Mandala Moments, a daily thought-provoking, soul-supportive moment of inspiration and love with Raven. Listen to the air. You can hear it, feel it, smell it, taste it. Woni ya wankan, the holy air, which renews all by its breath. Woni ya, woni ya wankan, spirit, life, breath, renewal. It means all that. Woni ya. We sit together, don't touch, but something is there. We feel it between us as a presence. A good way to start thinking about nature, talk about it, rather talk to it, talk to the rivers, to the lakes, to the winds, as to our relatives. Written by John Fire Lame Deer, Lame Deer, Seeker of Visions. With my pipe and the sacred fire before me, I offer gratefulness to the great star nation and the holy breath that lives within all of my ancestors and relatives of these lands near and far away. All of this life, this earth, that fills my heart with wonder and appreciation, I send into the four-legged ones, the finned ones, the winged ones, and the creepy crawlers that treat our mother with respect. Every tree, every mineral, every river and sweet blade of grass, I offer my thanks for without each of them, I am nothing in this tapestry called life. The stone beings are like my bones and the animals my spirit. The trees are like my hair and the soil like my skin. The mother, the father, all lives within me, as does my brother, the wind, who sings to me and tells me stories of the past, the future, and the wisdom of this moment. Within the sun, my journey is lit by the fire that is my grandfather. At night, I am cradled by my grandmother as she speaks to me in my dreams. The river and the sacred seas are the blood that is bled for me by my mother so that my blood can flow alongside of her in the same rhythm as hers because our hearts beat as one. I am the echo of all that is within her and the great spirit that fills us all. My brothers and sisters of the two-legged tribe, though unique and wonder-filled, rise to the same sun and set by the same moon as I, and as the buffalo, and as the mountains, and as the bluebirds do each day. We are the life breathed into us by the Sacred Mother and Sacred Father, similar but unique, and yet all family in this woven fabric of life. When we stray from the great mountains and believe we are taller than the highest summit, we have failed ourselves. When we dream we have more light than the desert, or more plenty than the plains and prairies, we have failed to know who we are in the larger passage through this world. We then have lost our way, leaving our thankful spirits and our awe in this untamed beauty to become gods without spirit, without souls. This is why I smoke this pipe, raising my grateful witness upon the spiraling frongs of honor. The fire before me lifts the warmth of my heart, stretching it out to the sky, the forest, and to each heart that beats life upon this earth. And I am blessed for my time here to sit beneath the sun, to walk beside my brother the wolf and my sister the fox, to dream of the cool river washing my body and the bank to return to for the promise of another day. 
my relations, lift up your hearts and give thanks to the whole of this wondrous creation. Place your moccasins on the good red road of life and the quiet blue road of peace. Hold your brothers and sisters with sacred honor, letting nothing unwise and of dark spirit come between you two. Respect all of our relations, for they are the very atoms and molecules within your cells, as you are the spark of life within theirs. Come, my sister and my brother. Come sit with me by the fire and smoke in the love and gratitude for all that is the great mystery of life and all that you are within it. We will smoke and dream together of the bear, the elk, the wildflowers, and the new earth that is rising from the ashes of these old bones, parting to the void for much healing. Please, come, speak these words with me now, out loud. I turn to the east where the antelope leads us, to new beginnings and the awakening of new dreams once foretold by the stars. I step into the south where the porcupine keeps in safety, innocence, and trust that all will be well if we give attention to actions needed to be taken wisely. In the west, let us honor the bear who leads us within to find our true path beyond this world of illusion and false words, and the raven who inspires us to seek our inner magic inside the void where spirit lives deep inside each of us. And I turn now to the north, home of the sacred buffalo, who reminds us of the abundance that awaits for us all in places unseen to receive it, and to assist us to prosper in the manner that truly matters. And I humbly honor the direction of within, myself, where my true eyes can see the sacred world of great spirit, and the direction of without, to a world I am here to learn to share within, with all others, respecting our hearts, and our lodges well. And to the left and to the right, where my masculine and feminine nature dance in the sacred spiral of all things that walk in balance. For all of these things, for the mother and father, for the whole of creation, and my place within it all, I give much thankfulness and gratitude from my heart, my flesh, my spirit through the sacred pipe of peace. Today is a good day to dream. Let us sit quietly now, holding space for the dream of life to find its way upon the thankful hearts we offer her. And a ho to all of my relations on this blue home we call our mother. If you like what you hear, please be sure to like this video, leave a comment below, and let me know what you think. Subscribe to my channel and go ahead and hit that notification bell so you never miss an update. See in the description how you can support my channel to grow bringing you the best content that I can. Thank you so much for visiting and for your support. This is Raven White Dove, signing out while rising in love.